Ready? To begin, open the drawer and turn this uh, button on, okay? That'll turn the machine on. It does take a moment to set up, so that should be the first thing you do when you come to the office. When you, once the screen is set up, it will look like this. And to upload the autorefractor data, you have to hit this blue in button. Once you hit that blue in button, it gives you this information here. It will give you all the autorefractor data, autorefractor data done in the last hour, all the one done today, or all of them done um, from the beginning of time. So we keep it on the one hour, match up the patient ID number with the one listed on the patient printout form. So you have number 53, matches up with that, you hit that button there. It'll put the data right here and all you have to do is hit OK. It'll dial the information into the foropter already. It's easiest if you hit the program button and we can use the location doctor's preset um, of refraction steps. With the preset refraction steps, it's gonna automatically have the VA chart uh, for the patient and you have to ask them what the lowest line they can see is. If you wanna to get to a smaller line, you just hit this VA lower button down a few times and we can get to the 2020 line or even to the 2015 line. Once you, you did your initial VAs, you hit the set button. The set button will bring you onto the sphere testing part. And what we ask the patient is which is better, red or green, follow the green to the left or follow the red to the right. When they say they're both equal, then you just hit the set button. It'll move on to the JCC portion of the exam. JCC portion uses the dots and the same thing. Which is clearer, the red or the green, and you'd follow it as well, to the left or to the right. You'll notice those are in five degree increments. If you want to have them in one degree increment, you'd hit the button down on the bottom left, and it will move them in one degree increments. Once you finish the axis, hit set again, and then move on to the sill, and it does the same process. Once you finish there, hit set one more time. It'll bring up the VA chart. Ask the patient to read the letters. If they can't see them, we can go to a, a, a bigger line, 2025. Once they do see them and read the line, they read 2020, hit the button right here, and that'll pop in 2020 for that right eye. You're gonna hit set again, and now we're gonna move over to the left side, and the process is exactly the same. I'm just gonna go through it for time-saving portion here. Once we finish, that one, we're gonna move over to the near test. Now we're using the near test, so you have to actually go over to the foropter and pull down the, the reading card. The light is already coming out of the foropter and the patient will look in there to read the, uh, read the near chart. It has the ads right here, so you can dial in the ad. You give them 150 and ask them to read the letters. Once we have that set, you would hit the VA over here and give them their VA for their near test and they were 2020. And they'll put that in binocular. If you want to do the binoc monocular version of that, we could do the VAs 2020 and on the left side, the same thing. Once that's all complete and you're finished, there are, um, you just hit set again. It will give the VA chart up again and this would be time to do more testing, whether you're going to be doing forias virgins test thing or even uh, uh, working on PRISM. There is other charts on here, so if you're moving out of the program, you can hit onto a different chart, say for instance FCC or something like that. Again, when you are finished, uh, you would hit, um, when you are finished, you would hit final and it sends it to the memory. All that data is sent over to the memory part of it. At this point, until we're connected to the EMR, we'd have you write all this information down. And then when you're finished writing all that down, you can hit the clear button and it'll clear everything up. That's pretty good, right?